The sale of sodas and carbonated drinks is on the rise, and so is the incidence of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and death. The city of New York even tried to curtail this problem by attempting to enact law to decrease the amount of daily intake of soda. What type of fluid do you put in your bodies anyway? Could the fluids you drink be influencing your disease process? Stand by as Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper starts now. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery and welcome to Get Healthy, a program designed to help you, the viewers, change lifestyle habits and thus become empowered to improve, prevent or even reverse chronic illnesses and thus enjoy a happier, healthier and longer life. Our topic today is the fluid that heals. Did you know that the body is mostly composed of water? About 70% of our bodies is made of water. And yet most people are chronically dehydrated. It is believed that 80% of Americans, as well as people in the other parts of the world, drink less than required amount of water daily. Water is important for many body functions. It may decrease the risk of diseases such as coronary artery disease, hypertension, gallbladder disease, kidney stone, constipation, urinary tract infection, just to name a few. Water has no cholesterol, no sugar or calories. It is easily obtainable and very inexpensive. It has no side effect in healthy people and most importantly, it is good for your health. Experts recommend drinking eight glasses of water daily. Although there is no specific science behind this rule, keeping the body well hydrated is important to maintain good health. Here are some health benefits of water. Water relieves fatigue. Inadequate consumption of water makes the body function less efficiently. Fatigue is usually the first sign of dehydration. When there is less water in the blood, there is usually a drop in blood pressure, which causes the heart to work harder to pump oxygenated blood to the major organs of our bodies. Number two, water improves mood. Researchers indicate that even mild dehydration can negatively affect your mood and ability to think. One of the first signs of dehydration in the elderly person is acute mental change or confusion. The color of water is a good indicator of the level of dehydration. The lighter the color, the better hydrated the person is. The darker the urine, the less hydrated the person is. Number three, Drinking water may help to prevent and treat headaches. Headaches and migraines are often caused from dehydration. Increasing water intake helps to reduce the total number of hours in intense headache. Number four, drinking more water may help relieve constipation. Drinking warm water is said to be a mild laxative. Number five, Drinking water may help prevent or treat kidney stone. Water promotes kidney function and reduces kidney stones by diluting the salts and minerals in the urine that cause kidney stones. Number six, drinking more water can help maintain a healthy weight. Drinking two glasses of water 30 minutes prior to a meal may help to suppress appetite and hence support your weight loss efforts. Drinking water before meals fills the stomach and reduces the tendency to overeat. It is also believed that drinking water increases the rate at which the body burns fat and promotes the breakdown and the elimination of fat cells. 
stay with us for more information that we'll have for you after this short break. Many diseases and poor health conditions that we suffer come as a result of not taking good care of our body. Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery is a certified internist that will take care of your health. Are you suffering from diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, chronic pain, or any other disease? Trust your health in the hands of Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery. She and her great medical team will take care of you. Call today for an appointment. She is waiting for you. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. In our headlines today, researchers have discovered that drinking adequate amount of water can significantly reduce the risk of coronary artery disease. Research at Loma Linda University tracked 20,000 people aged 38 years and above during 1973 through 1979. According to the chief researchers, Dr. J. Chan, these people who drank five or more glasses of water per day lowered the risk of fatal coronary heart disease by 54% in men and 41% in women. The same benefit was not seen in those participants that drank less than five glasses of water per day. The Loma Linda study found that when our fluids were obtained from coffee, tea or alcohol, or concentrated drink, the risk of coronary artery disease was increased by 46%. This study was published in the American Journal of Medical Epidemiology, 2002. Dr. Chan states that people need to be made aware that there is a difference, at least for heart health, whether they get their fluids from plain water or from soda. Even though researchers may need to publish more information on this topic, it is safe to conclude that keeping the body well hydrated may indeed lower the risk of heart attack or stroke and will indeed promote good health and longevity. This is Dr. Cooper Dockery and that has been our health news for today. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with more information. Many diseases and poor health conditions that we suffer come as a result of not taking good care of our body. Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery is a certified internist that will take care of your health. Are you suffering from diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, chronic pain, or any other disease? Trust your health in the hands of Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery. She and her great medical team will take care of you. Call today for an appointment. She is waiting for you. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Welcome back to Get Healthy. And today in our studio, we are delighted to have Dr. Martin Ekumu. Dr. Ekumu is a physician he also holds a degree in public health from Loma Linda. He spends most of his time in lifestyle medicine and health promotion. Welcome to Get Healthy, Dr. Kamu. Thank you, Dr. Cooper, for inviting me. You know, today we have been talking about water as medicine. Do you believe water could be medicine? Water is essential to life. We're actually made of, out of a tank of water. 
Right. So what is essential is more than medicine. Very good. Yeah. You know, today, a lot of people drink sodas and coffee and all the liquid rather than water. What are the dangers here? The dangers to drink soda. We need to drink water. As a matter of fact, uh, water, as we just said, is one of the most important beverages that uh, human being ever known. So when we drink water, we actually contribute to the perfusion of our body. Very and nice. uh, as we know, the blood is uh, essentially uh, draining our body. So it's made out of water. So if we don't have water in our system, we're going to be having a lot of health problems. Very good. Health problem like what? What do we have if we don't have water? Well, uh, when you don't drink water, I'm going to make it a relevant topic here. Uh, people usually drink soda. You know, we call it soft drink. Right. And soft drink, as we know, is loaded with uh, toxin, actually. Okay. Uh, uh, sugar becomes uh, fat, and fat is the one thing that we don't know in our body. So when you drink water, it means that you're not going to be drinking uh, uh, pop, soda, loaded with sugar, becoming fat. Right. It means that uh, you're going to be uh, nurturing your body with what your body needs in That's terms of right. uh, beverages. That's right. We were told that a 12-ounce can of soda, regular soda, has about 10 teaspoons of sugar. You're Do right. you think this could be the reason why we have a surge in obesity? Is, uh, is you right to the point. That's why we have a lot of problems today. We actually call them lifestyle disease. You know, it becomes also chronic disease. So it means that if you drink water, you will stay away. It's a way to prevent also all these lifestyle diseases. We talk about cancer, obesity, right. uh, heart, heart disease, disease. Uh, high cholesterol, and so forth. You know, all the diseases that we know. As a matter of fact, there was a study at Donald Loma Linda Yes. That showed that people who drink five or more glasses of water per day reduce the risk for heart disease by 50%. Yeah, you that's, that's, that? that's right. That's a relevant uh, 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 data that you're bringing you know, to the picture here. So when you drink water, you are actually preventing all these lifestyle diseases, all the chronic diseases. So what is really important, you know, for What life? about coffee? I mean, I know that's a different topic, but a lot of people like to drink coffee rather than water. What are the dangers in drinking coffee, for example? You see, it's not just coffee. The thing that they add, you know, to coffee, you're not going to drink coffee, just coffee. You add some sugar. One of them is actually the aspartame that we know, mm -hmm. and all its derivative. Mm -hmm. Those are poison, you know, to our body. So... The sugar being there is actually false sugar because the right sugar for our body is called glucose. And uh, when you don't get the right glucose, the right sugar, you get the artificial sugar. And that is not good. And that's not good because it's actually contribute to the secretory insufficiency. Very good. Which is not also good. in coffee, the caffeine is a diuretic. Yes. So rather than rehydration, you might be dehydrating yourself, yes. and that is why coffee is known as a water thief. Yeah, they rub water, you know, our body in such a way that the cells are starving. Right. You see, when we are thirsty, it actually means that the cells are in need of the water that we should be drinking. Very good. So when you drink coffee and others, even soft drink, all the sugary drink, you are really destroying yourself. Your health. Yeah, your is health. there anything you'd like to tell our public about water, drinking water? Well, drinking water is the best thing to do in life. If you want to engage in a healthy lifestyle, the number one thing that you need to do is to begin drinking water. And I have a definition. To drink water means to make a decision not to drink soda anymore. Very good. So you're telling our public to make a decision today not to drink water anymore. Not to drink soda, but to there drink you go. water. There you go. I, yes. I got you there. Yes. I, I understand very not well. Not to drink soda, but to drink water. Yes, to drink water. This is the one thing to do if you would like to engage in a healthy lifestyle. Very good. So water heals. Water heals. Water paves the way you know, to a healthy lifestyle. Very good. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Ekumu, for being with us today and get healthy. And I'm sure audience now know that they should drink water rather than other liquid. I will have to get you back on the show. Thank you so much. And thank and you for inviting me. You're welcome. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more information with Get Healthy. Many diseases and poor health conditions that we suffer come as a result of not taking good care of our body. Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery is a certified internist that will take care of your health. Are you suffering from diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, chronic pain, or any other disease? Trust your health in the hands of Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery. She and her great medical team will take care of you. Call today for an appointment. She is waiting for you. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly. Like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. And in our kitchen today, we have Liz. Liz, what do Hi, you have for Dr. us today? Cooper. Today we have a vegetable wrap, and this is gonna be a great idea for a snack since all of our ingredients are gonna be raw. If we ever do have the time, we can go ahead and saute all the ingredients just to bring out the flavor. Interesting. Why don't so, we go yeah. ahead and start? So we have two options. We have a sun-dried tomato tortilla and the spinach. I don't know which one you'd like to try. Dr. Anyone, anyone, go ahead. All right, so here's a sun-dried tomato. And then let me go over the ingredients really quick, the rest. Um, here we have the tahini, we have some avocado mashed up, some carrots, some cucumber, mushrooms, onions, green bell peppers, yellow red bell peppers, and the rest. I notice you have very healthy fat. You have avocado. Yes. And what is tahini, by the way? Tahini, that one's gonna be a new one for most of us, but it's a sesame seed paste. Think of it kind of like peanut butter, but with sesame seed. Very good, why don't we go ahead and make a wrap? All right. Good. So, so we'll get out, go ahead and get our tahini, and this will be, like my coworker always likes to say, it'll kind of be like the cement of our wrap. It helps hold together all the... The ingredients, right? Yes, all the all ingredients. Right. We just have to spread it thoroughly throughout the wrap, yes, correct? Yes, this one can be spread all over. Okay, wonderful. And wraps, although easy, can be tricky. All right. For the fact that sometimes we overdo it, sometimes we underdo it, but we'll tell you all right now what we can do. Okay, so we next. put the tahini all over, we get the avocado, and we'll put that just in the middle. We won't go too close to the edges there. Mm hmm very good. So there, it's wonderful. And we have to remember not to eat too much avocado because oh, yes. even though we have healthy fats, we have to be moderate. Yes, it's full of calories. It's the good fats and the good thing about the good fats, besides it being good for our hearts, it's also gonna be, it's gonna help absorb all the nutrients of our That you're gonna vegetables. be adding, all right. Yes. So right now I put the carrots so they can um, just be Set and they won't fall out. Good. We next we put our cucumbers. Very good. And our cucumbers have a lot of uh, water and the more water uh, your vegetables have, the just think of it, it's going to help detox a lot. Good. And of course you have a lot of fiber. Let's keep adding oh. everything there. You have the mushroom. Yeah. Let's add the mushroom. Yeah, and the mushrooms are really great too. Um, the way these grow is they um, they, um, they feed off living organisms, so they help. Like they absorb a lot of minerals in the process, and it also has enzymes that help regulate sugar. Right, and vitamin D is also a good source of vitamin D. Yeah, it's good for our bones. All right, and let's add the, the other vegetables there. The onions is going to be great for our immunity, and then the green bell peppers, high in vitamin C and vitamin A, mm -hmm. as well as the yellow bell peppers. Go ahead and add three. And can they add whatever vegetable they like? Oh, yes. 
Remember, Feel this is a vegetable wrap. You can edit. add just about anything you like in there. Mm -hmm. We're doing it green today, but if you raw, however, if you like your vegetable a little cooked, you can just slightly yes. saute that. And that'll be to bring out the flavor like we said earlier. I can see that you're mm -hmm. almost done. Let's do the wrap. So this is the tricky part. We're gonna fold it on the sides first. And this one's gonna be a little fat, but it's okay. It's full of good things. We're gonna try folding it like an envelope. This way, this way, and then we kind of just wrap it up. Yes, very nice. Good job. Uh -huh. So it's easy, like I you said. I think it's going to be very delicious. Delicious, and, it's and it has a lot of nutrients, vitamin, minerals, protein, and oh, good fats. Yes. And all of these are very good. The combinations of vitamin A and vitamin E are good for our skin it's like your beauty secret <laughs> thank you so much liz for You're being welcome. here with us i'm sure we're going to have great time having this um, veg wrap after the okay. show so mm -hmm. don't go away we'll be right back with more for you many diseases and poor health conditions that we suffer come as a result of not taking good care of our body Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery is a certified internist that will take care of your health. Are you suffering from diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, chronic pain, or any other disease? Trust your health in the hands of Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery. She and her great medical team will take care of you. Call today for an appointment. She is waiting for you. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going. Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Thanks for staying with us. As you know, to maintain a healthy lifestyle, nutrition and exercise, these are important. At this time, I'm going to pass you to Rebecca and Christopher with our next segment, Living Active. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. This is Living Active. My name is Christopher Hanna. This is Rebecca Huerta. And we're going to do a few exercises that you can do at your home or in your office. Um, we're going to concentrate on your shoulders and then mainly the lower legs. Um, the first exercise we're going to do is called a shoulder press. However, it's like a modified push-up. You're going to get in like a bridge position and you're just going to go down. So you should be working your shoulders, mainly your deltoids, a little bit of your traps. It's your whole shoulder pretty much you're going to be working out. And you do anywhere between 10 to 15 reps of these and you're gonna be doing it in sets of three. The next exercise we're gonna do, um, it's gonna target your lower body, it's called a wall sit. What you basically do is you get on a wall and then you're gonna go in a squatting position and you hold it for starting off 30 seconds and as you increase, you go from a minute to a minute and a half and you hold it there for three sets, you do this. And remember while you're doing this, always to breathe. Um, keep your core tight as well as while you're doing it. The next exercise we're going to do is called calf raises, which it's going to strengthen your calves and we're going to do it in a circuit of three of them. So first you do it with your legs pointed forward, how Rebecca has it, and then you just go up, do anywhere from 15 to 20 of these in three sets as well, and then you're going to turn your leg outward, so it's going to work the other part of your calf, which should be this muscle. And then after that, you're going to put your legs inward and then it works the inside of your calf as well. And you do that all together. So 10 reps on each, so that's 30. And you do them um, in reps of three, sets of three as well. The another exercise we're going to do is called the goblet squat. And what you do is you get either a 15 pound weight or a 20 weight. Rebecca's using the 20 pound and you just squat. That's going to be working out your glutes as well as all your, your hamstrings and your quads at the same time. You do anywhere between 15 to 20 reps of these and you're going to do them in sets of three. The next exercise we're going to do 
is called a compound squat. So what this does is you're gonna, it's like a variation of three different squats. You're gonna start in the middle, you squat down, you're gonna go to your right side, you squat down again, then you go to your left, squat down, and then back to the middle. And by doing this, it has a little bit of muscle confusion, meaning that your, mu your muscle of your memory doesn't get like something it's used to all the time, so you're able to let your muscle grow by doing this. And you're gonna be doing sets of 15 with this as well, 15 to 20, and three sets. Once again, this is Living Active. Now back to Dr. Cooper in the studio. Thank you so much, Christopher and Rebecca. Indeed, we are gonna practice those routines this week. Thank you. Many diseases and poor health conditions that we suffer come as a result of not taking good care of our body. Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery is a certified internist that will take care of your health. Are you suffering from diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, chronic pain, or any other disease? Trust your health in the hands of Dr. Donna Cooper Dockery. She and her great medical team will take care of you. Call today for an appointment. She is waiting for you. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going. Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Thanks for staying with us. As you have learned today, drinking an adequate amount of water and decreasing the consumption of soda is essential for maintaining good health and longevity. Drinking high amounts of plain water is as important as exercise, diet, and not smoking in preventing coronary artery disease. So make it a habit to drink about six to eight glasses of pure water every day. It is best to use filtered water, and for those people that use well water, periodic testing for heavy metal is very important. Keeping your body hydrated will protect you from many health conditions. The God of the universe has given us water to use as one of his natural remedies. I want to leave this text with you today. John 4 verse 14. But whoever drink of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. How beautiful. If you'd like to learn more about this water, please visit our website, gethealthywithdrcooper.tv and leave me a message, a suggestion, and also provide me with your address and your email. I will send you a set of eight studies on health. Please join us again next week, same time, same station, for more information on how to live a healthy life forever. This is Dr. Cooper.